Assalamualaikum. What's up, everyone? As you know, I'm sure you're watching right now. Uh, this is Queen of the Dean. In this particular episode, I'm going to be interviewing um, a sister from the UK. Maria Idrisi is the very first hijabi sister from the UK selected to be a model for H&M. On top of that, she also signed up with one of the most top modeling agencies in the world. With her deep passion for writing, speaking and storytelling, her biggest aim is to use modeling as a platform to contribute herself for the ummah. Okay, here we go. Bismillah. Bismillah. How are you? Oh, I'm good. So good. Alhamdulillah. I'm so glad we finally met. I know. Thank After God. so long, I've been stalking you on Instagram. Uh, me too. Checking you out. Everyone said you came to Malaysia. Ms. Nina, you. Oh, have okay. To get Alhamdulillah, Maria. Mashallah, you are the very first hijabi H&M model. I know you have a lot of other passions like motivational speaking, um, but we want to know more about who you are. So can you just tell me a little bit? Yeah, sure. So. Um, Prior to the H&M thing, which was only last year, by the way, mm -hmm. so I was actually studying. I did an English literature degree. I started. I wrote a children's book. Oh, and really? Yeah. Wow, and mashallah, I, you didn't tell me this before. So I know. This is a new <laughs> thing. Okay. Yeah. I wrote a children's book, but I was holding back because I knew that I wanted to do more before I came out with the book. So that's kind of why I studied English literature, just so that I have a bit of a background okay. in, in writing. And um, I am a spoken word artist mm -hmm. as well. And I'm also yeah, a public speaker. Mm -hmm. I did a, a TEDx talk earlier this year in February. I'm just doing everything that I wanted to do that mm -hmm. I was told, oh, wearing hijab, it's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now, finally, with the opportunity I had as a model, mm -hmm. I can use that as a platform mm -hmm. to do everything in the creative field. Mashallah. I, I really feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has really put you in a position where you can really show what Islam is to people who don't really know. So how did this happen? How did you get into this position and, and how did they discover you? I was, I was scouted actually, okay. shopping. I was just scouted. She came up to me and said, can I take a picture of you? And I looked at her like, what? Okay. I was like, oh, why? And she said, I'm a scout mm -hmm. and I have my own company. And um, H&M are looking for a girl in hijab specifically. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a campaign about recycling. I said, okay, okay cool. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I said, okay, I'm, you know, that fits into everything. Yeah. So I gave her a letter, take a picture, and then a few weeks later, I did, I did the shoot. Mm -hmm. And then when it came out, I thought nothing of it. I just thought I'm just going to be part of a massive campaign. No one's going to notice me. But then it like blew up. Right. Oh. So alhamdulillah. Okay. So when you did the shoots with H&M, was there any challenges? No, alhamdulillah. What's so incredible is that they already had an idea, even though I actually had to sew, well, I got someone to sew the hijab because they bought oh, me okay. a hijab, mm -hmm. but it's like a square. And I said, it was too tiny, not, it was, was too it? small, okay. yeah. And see, things like this, they were like, okay, we have another one. I said, can we just stitch the two together? So things like that, right. it just made me realize, wow, that's why they needed real people because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can't just get a generic model yeah. who doesn't wear a hijab to know how to, you know, style How to use like it that. as well. Yeah. Maria, no. are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go! Yeah. Let's do this! <laughs> I always try to start off quickly <laughs> and it's just like... No. Okay. This is relaxing. This is, it is, isn't it's it? Really it's really relaxing. It's very therapeutic, I, I know. Think. Plus but the wind in the air. Yeah, and looking at the views. Mashallah, look at the sky. It's clear today, I it's know. It's beautiful. The it's day blue. I leave. Oh. Okay, we're going to turn. Okay. Go! <laughs> I love this. I know. Oh. I wonder oh, how no. fast this thing can go. I know, right? I want to know as well. Let me try to go really. Yeah. Oh! Ah! <laughs> this is actually really cool. I could actually get around so quickly. Woo! So speaking of passion, yeah. uh, you were telling me that you love um, you love speaking, you love doing motivational talks. And tell me why you like doing it. In all honesty, I think I always wanted to build up to that. That's why mm -hmm. I think I started poetry. So I used poetry as my way to express and Alhamdulillah now, I didn't expect it to happen this quick. I thought it was going to be later on in life. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Alhamdulillah, I've been given the opportunities now to speak about my journey. Okay, so, so what do you think about the importance of youth giving back to community? Is this a big part of what you like to talk about to them? Yeah. 
definitely especially with girls I think as well with just young be, girls yes yeah. and that's why I do the speaking because I don't want people to just look at me like just this model okay. like okay. it's not enough and I'm not just like I said I'm not just a model mm -hmm. as much as that's what I do I'm more than that which is why I will be used inshallah for mm -hmm. things because I'm mm -hmm. not just offering my face no 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 they, don't yeah. need, they can get that anywhere if I looked at what role models we have mm. it's just in that industry a young girl is not going to know about a female scholar who's martial doing, you know, right. it's not going to be the first thing because it's not shown mainstream. SubhanAllah, that's yeah. a wonderful <laughs> message because I mean, that's the thing. Yes, you can be a model, yeah. but you need to do more than more that. More than that, exactly. It right. has to be more. something that benefits. So, SubhanAllah, may Allah guide our youth, inshallah, to, yes. to really find their purpose in life, inshallah. inshallah. Now, speaking of youth, moving on to media. So, how important do you think media plays a role in helping the youth and helping the ummah? Young people, old people, everyone uses the media as a, as a means of entertainment. Mm -hmm. So, we all have, you know, media in our lives. Yeah. So, it's like, why not offer them something more better and constructive than the media we have today? Which is why, mm -hmm. it's, again, it's important to have female and male yeah. in the public eye, mainstream eye, because mm -hmm. rather than them looking up to Kardashians as their role models and you know mm -hmm. things like that we mm -hmm. need our kind of role models that will relate more to them and their lifestyles right so there's so nothing wrong with them it's just no no we need a balance we need a balance basically right. okay mashallah okay, so you wanted to share with me something about social media yeah yeah alhamdulillah for me I'm living a successful mm -hmm. life because mm -hmm. it's not about money it's not yep. about fame it's it's down to you but yep. we are being brainwashed now by social media that yep. your followers show your success and people need to think hold on what do i have in the real world that okay. is going to actually determine my success mm -hmm. because if anything happens to social media yeah. what do you have and that's i think where a lot of insecurities are coming from mm -hmm. why there's a lot of like competitiveness mm -hmm. and jealousy between people because mm -hmm. They're so focused on, on this world, yep. but they're forgetting the real world. As much as I do rely on social media a lot, it is a big part of what I do. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not the everything. real end all. No. Yep. It's not everything. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If I didn't do what I do as a career, because yep. I would use my time more productively, I think, mm -hmm. than to just take like outfit of the day pictures and no. stuff. Like, it's fine. I understand. You can, you can have that as a hobby, <laughs> but the, yeah. in, the time that I think girls are investing into this, it's, it is a little bit worrying. Okay, so Maria, yeah. every time we do a Queen of the Dean episode, we have a game. All right, so the game is um, basically we have to uh, we have to, to basically speak with different accents. Uh, okay, okay. Bismillah. You Bismillah, ready? Bismillah, yes. Okay. Ya Ali, halas, halas. La, 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 no. Enough. What is this? I told you how many times, halas. Khadija, Aji. Ta'al, ta'ali, ta'ali. What you are wearing? Are you crazy? You want to go out like this? Has your baba seen you? You're absolutely crazy. Hamara, get in the, get in the, no way, no way. By Allah. Yani, you're not going to wear this one. Get inside. You're crazy. <laughs> oh my God. This is going to come up. So crazy. Hey, hey, how much? How much? Oh my God, this this is so nice. This one, uh, I don't know how much. Uh, you you give me discount faster. Give me give me discount. Oh, very nice. Uh. your 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 hijab is very nice. Can I can I buy? You can. <laughs> you want to free? buy the hijab? Give me free free. No no, we can't do the free. We can't do the. <laughs> No, I'm from China. I'm from Shanghai. I'm not from oh, no, 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 Malaysia. No, no, no. Shishin. Shishin. Ah, Shishin. Shishin. Can I, mate? Can I, mate? Oh, look at this. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so hungry right now. Oh, I'm on holiday. No, I don't sound Australian at all. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm going to take my family now, we're going on the holiday. My name is Maria Gonzalez, okay? <laughs> but I'm taking my family, we're going to go to Spain. Okay. Uh, there is a lot of Spanish women, They're very beautiful, you okay. know, very beautiful. Sp uh, Spanish men, um, Spanish low, men? Lower your gaze, lower your gaze. We have to lower no. the gaze and yes, the lower the gaze. Definitely because uh, <laughs> <laughs> we cannot look eh? <laughs> Okay, awesome, mashallah. <laughs> nice, give me a five. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, 
we're, we've come up to the final question. This is quite a big question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the biggest change you'd like to see in the world today? But I think with what maybe I can be a part of changing mm -hmm. would probably be one the hijab ban that's happening. So many jobs then become a no option mm -hmm. for, for people that choose to wear hijab. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something, if I can show people through what I'm doing, yep. indirectly one day again in 50 years or however long it takes, maybe sooner, they can say, how stupid, like we have people like Maria Drissi, like, mm -hmm. like yourself inshallah, mm -hmm. like so many women who wear hijab, who are super successful, yep. who wear a hijab, but we don't let our girls go to university in hijab. Like mm. how crazy is that? Yeah. And yep. that's what I hope I can do through my action so that people think it is ridiculous and there is an argument about it mm -hmm. and there is a change. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of what I would love to, if I can eventually be a part of, of ending that ban, mm -hmm. it will be a big... I mean, inshallah, inshallah, I mean, with you being part of H&M, which is a global brand, yeah. hopefully that message will come across. Allah make it easy yes. for you and Alhamdulillah, it's been such an amazing <laughs> interview. You're so Thank good. You. Alhamdulillah. Thank I mean, you. give me a hug. Thank you so much. Mm. Instead of ya, yeah, ya yeah, in English, it's we, we in French. It's always my dream to be cured.